Hi, this is Mark with At My Home, and today we're going to talk about the Flume water monitor. Now, what Flume does is it allows you to monitor the water usage from your water meter, right at the water meter. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this, and then we're going to hook it up to our water meter, and we're going to see how well this thing works. So let's take a look at what's in the box and to find out what it's going to take to do the installation. All right, first up is the Flume water monitor. Check this out. It just has some straps and a curved edge and uh, just a nice face over here. It's totally waterproof and uh, you just basically take it and strap it over the top of the water meter which is nice. There's no, no bolting it on or doing anything at all to attach it. You just snap it on. The second thing they sent us is the flume bridge. Now a lot of times we install things in the house at Z-Wave or Wi-Fi or whatever but imagine this is going to be in the ground outside of our house and so it doesn't use Z-Wave, it uses a different frequency and it talks to this little box here, you see it has a little antenna and uh, basically you put this in the house and this is what talks to your Wi-Fi network and learns what's happening here with the flu monitor so that's the second device you need and then of course they give you a power adapter because this thing's going to be in the house the, this guy here will be in the house and let's see what else they give you, oh look at this they give us rubber gloves. Okay, so let's talk about the rubber gloves because I've already looked at where our water meter is. Some people have water meters inside the house. It's lucky you, you don't need the gloves. But for us here in California, we have our, our meters inside a box in the ground. It's all dirt and spiders and other nasty stuff that's in the ground. So they actually give you the gloves because you don't want to get the bugs and spiders and dirt all over your hands. So that's kind of a nice addition that they gave us. Uh, what else? Let's see. So they give you an additional uh, strap. Uh, when you read the directions, they kind of tell you, hey, if you're having trouble, use the second strap to help make the attachment. So that's what that's for. And let's see. And, uh, and I have no idea what this is for. We're going to find out when we go do the installation. It looks like some sort of device to, uh, to hook it up. So we'll, we'll find out later on what that's all about. Let's see. Nothing else in the box. I guess that's it. As I was saying, this one here we're going to hook up to our irrigation water meter. So uh, in our house, we actually have two types of water. We have the water you drink, the regular water. There's a water meter for that. And we've seen in other videos we've done, we've actually already hooked up the device will let us monitor the water usage as well as uh, shut off the water if there's a leak in the house. However, the irrigation controller has its own water meter where we live and it uses what's called recycled water or pink water. And so we're going to hook this up actually to the irrigation system, their water meter, as opposed to the water meter for the house. But if you wanted to monitor both, you'd buy two of these. One of them you'd hook up your freshwater water meter. The other one you could hook up your irrigation controller. Okay, now we're going to set this up. Now, in the little card they gave us in the box, that's the only thing that has directions. And the directions basically say, install the app and follow the app directions. Now, I've already set up the app with uh, our username and where we're located and a bunch of other information that they asked us for. But now we're going to actually hook the device up. So, all right, first thing it says is scan the QR code in the back. It says success. We'll hit continue. So now let's scan in the water sensor. So again, we say scan QR code, put it in front of it, and then it, it did it. That's it. Success. This has now been scanned in. All right, important, please keep the bridge and water sensor next to each other until the app instructs you to put the sensor on your water meter. So this is a good thing we're doing it at the kitchen table. Okay, connecting up the flume bridge to the power supply. There we go. A little light comes on in the top. Continue. Press and hold the button on the bottom of the flume bridge until the blue light begins blinking. In here where the antenna is, is a little blue light. And it's doing its thing. And there's the button in the bottom, just so you can see that. Go to your iPhone settings and connect the Wi-Fi and connect to the Flume Bridge setup. So the usual way of doing things. So uh, now we're connected to the Flume Bridge. And let's see what happens. All right. It wants to know what network to hook it up to. Put in our password. All right. It says success. Continue. And it says please ensure the devices are right next to each other to speed up the initial connection. All right, so we're gonna put them right next to each other, really close. We'll press OK and say connect. Homes without a basement. Now well, that means the people that need to use the rubber gloves. The water meter is likely located in a pit in front of your house with a lid that says water. Ours says recycled water. 
uh, use the included tool to open your lid. Oh, so now we know what this is for. This is the tool to open up. It's nice. They give you everything you need. All right, continue. Important, when taking a photo of the water meter, make sure the dial is readable. If possible, please take a photo within a couple of feet of the water meter. Now, I already took a picture of this thing so I could have it for myself, so I actually know what I have for a water meter. Um, but uh, it, right now it's asking for how big it is, so let's see. It's a uh, three-quarter inch, so that's important to know. And the brand is uh, Sanus, I believe. Let's see if they have it in here. Yep, Census. There it is. S-E-N-S-U-S is our brand. And the model name, which is an SR2, uh, let's see, it's SR2 like that, and that's it. And then I can take a photo of it, and uh, so it turns out I have a picture of it already, so I will pull it out of my library. Okay, now we can say upload. So the reason I had a picture of our water meter was I wasn't sure whether or not the flume was going to be compatible, and I didn't want to buy it until I knew. So I actually had taken a picture of the water meter. I sent it to their support people. They looked it up and said, yes, you're totally supported. So I would recommend that you do that because it would save you the hassle of spending a couple hundred dollars on buying this and having to return it. So now it's time to hook it up to the thing, so to the meter. So we're going to go outside and uh, put on our rubber gloves, uh, open up the box and uh, attach it. Had to struggle a bit to get those rubber straps on. I think if they had made those straps just a little longer, it would have been a lot more convenient. I had a lot of trouble getting it holding both and stretching it all while bent over. It was not fun and easy, but at the end, it strapped on nice and simple. The hold seems to be very secure. Now let's see if it worked. All right, hit continue. Run a stream of water. Great. That means I have to run a stream of water on the sprinkler, but no problem because we have the Rachio. And I should be able to turn on the sprinklers. So let's go to the Rachio app. We're going to do a quick run. And we'll run the, the garden. And I'll tell it to run for three minutes. Okay, it's now running. All right. All right, then we'll hit continue here. And start. All right, it's setting up. It may take up to two minutes. Good thing I ran the thing for three. Okay. Looks like it finished. It says, congrats. All right, you're all set up. Remember to turn off the water stream. I think that's kind of funny. Leak detection is fully set up. Your water usage may take a few minutes to, uh, or oh, wait a minute, that may take a few hours before becoming accurate. I don't know why that is. All right, so Flume has set up your first leak rule based off your home profile. All right, they've created a water budget for us. And uh, they can automatically alert a neighbor if there's an alert. I think that's actually kind of neat, so I could set that up later. Our actual usage. So today it says we've used one gallon. Now imagine I'm running drip irrigation in our garden. So it says so far since we started this video, uh, one gallon has been used. It's doing about a half a gallon per minute. And that's probably correct because they're half a gallon drippers. So it's actually perfect. Uh, there's the dashboard. you got the detailed stuff. Oh, I just finished the, the uh, irrigation controller. So let's look at the dashboard. And look at that. <clears throat> it says we burned three gallons. We're currently running at 1.1 gallons per minute. Let's take a look at the rest of the app. You got the detailed list here. It tells you what your usage is. Notifications. No new alerts. Okay. But that's it. That's pretty cool. It does keep track of it. Knows when the water comes on and when the water goes off. Um, should be able to track our irrigation system from now on and hopefully detect leaks. If there is any, hopefully there is none. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.